In this device doctor video, we'll show you how to fix Epson L3150 error 031006. This error causes all the lights to blink and stops the printer from working. If you're facing this issue while printing, don't worry, stay with us and we'll guide you through a simple and effective solution. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. To fix this problem, you need to follow several steps. One, open the printer and remove the scanner. Two, take out the print head and clean it properly. Three, remove the printer's base and check Fuse F1. You need to replace or repair it. Follow these steps carefully and your printer should work again. To start the first step, remove the two screws at the front of the printer. Now, disconnect the scanner cables from the printer's board. Now carefully remove the print head. Now, carefully clean both the print head and the print head cables. If your cable is burnt like this, you will need to use a new cable. If the top of your print head is damaged or has ink stains, you should carefully clean it. Use a soft cloth and a small amount of gasoline to gently wipe the surface. Be sure to clean it thoroughly. If the damage is severe or the ink is dried, you may need to repair or replace the print head. It's important to understand that this process is 50-50. While there's a chance that your printer will be successfully repaired and function like new, there's also the possibility that it could be permanently damaged. If the top of the print head has been stained or affected, it could lead to a short circuit. Ultimately, there are no guarantees. Either you repair the print head or you may have to replace the entire printer. Clean the printer head with a toothbrush and gasoline.
carefully dry the printer head using a hair dryer to ensure it's completely dry before reassembling or using the printer again. Now, in the final step, you need to remove the printer's board and repair or replace the F1 fuse. Now, find the F1 fuse on the board and check if it is working. Usually, this fuse blows when the device shows this error and needs to be replaced or repaired. After the repair, let's test to see if the fuse is functioning properly. Now, place the printer head and board back in their positions, close the printer, turn it on, and test to see if your printer is working properly. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this tutorial helped you easily fix your printer. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them with us in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to the Device Doctor channel for more helpful videos and tutorials. Thanks for your support.